Uh, I mean, we did a lot of good things. There's some things we need to work on and clean up. Um, uh, as far as that goes, a broad statement would be uh, tackling. Um, we need to work on tackling as far as the defense goes. And um, just execution, man. Execution this week. That's what we're focusing on, locking in on. You guys still uh, up? I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, the Spirits are still up. I mean, yeah, we took a tough a tough one to the chin last week, but um, every week's an opportunity. This is a big opportunity to defend our home, and um, we're honored to go out here and, you know, play a game, play, you know what I'm saying? How about the challenge ahead of you? Because obviously South Dakota State brings the best offense statistically in the league, you know, a team that's averaging over 40 points a game. Do you, do you get up for games like that? Yeah, uh, yes. Um, like I said, like this uh, it's a home game. It's gonna be a good environment, and um, yeah, we just we we here to take the challenge. Uh, we know about their offense, and we know what comes with it, and we up for the challenge this week. How have the DBs improved, maybe from from week one? Uh, yeah, I mean, as far as that goes, you know, things are repetition. Like it comes with repetition, and um, I think the players are, are getting better, and we're understanding things as far as the back end. And um, I mean. Myself is back, uh, older guy, as far as like communication wise, we, we can get the uh, message across in the back end and I think that'll play a huge role. What do you see on tape when you, when you watch South Dakota State? They seem like a really balanced team, a team that can run, throw, you know, do it all. Yeah, I think South Dakota is, is a balanced team, but at the end of the day, I think it's about how we uh, execute things and, and what we uh, take advantage of. Uh, he's, he's, um, I mean, I heard he's a transfer in and I didn't really watch him like before he got to uh, South Dakota, but I mean, I watched tape. He's a pretty good quarterback and, um, uh, yeah, we just gotta, we just gotta make plays, man. And we can take advantage of our opportunities. I think one of the better running backs in the conference as well. I can't remember his name offhand, but, you know, he's, you know, he's uh, yeah, um, strong. Yeah, he's, he's definitely, um. A slicey running back, I'll say. Um, I say he's um, he's north and south, but I mean it's it's all part of the challenge, man. We here, we accept it. I mean, that spoiler role for, for these opponents now, the next four opponents. I mean, you know, that, is that give, what gives you guys motivation? Uh, yeah. I mean, like we have a stretch. We have a stretch these um, these last few weeks, and um, yeah, Coach told us it's gonna be a stretch week in and week out. We just gotta be prepared. I mean, and Take advantage of everything we can. This was a close game in the spring with these guys. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys take any confidence away from the fact that you know it took a last second field goal for them to, to walk away with the win here? Yeah. Um, with that being said, yeah, we um, we taking bits and pieces of like the positives uh, from that game, and um, we hope to execute on what we did, and we taking the bad from that game too, also, and we hope to capitalize on that. Just about your. Um, yeah, I, I tore my uh, my Achilles, but yeah, still a good return, man. I thank the trainers. I thank everybody here for their support. And uh, yeah, I feel good, man. feel good. Glad to be back. Glad to be on the field.